coming into my senior year, you know, uh, we had 20 starters returning. Only people we lost from that 81 team was Danny, Danny Jackson, and we lost uh, uh, Mike Livens and Sammy. Everybody else came, was coming back, you know. So we were real confident at what we were doing. And, you know, at that, at that, at that of course, you know, Coach Collins had left, which was pretty devastating for me personally because of the simple fact I'm like, really? Really? You got the, one of the best teams that ever been put on the field here at Southern Miss and you leaving? You, you really leaving? So I was upset about it. You know, I really was. No disrespect to Coach Carmody and Coach Daniels and those guys that come in, but I'm like, we got a good thing going here and now you're leaving. You're leaving for greener pastures. And then even though Coach Carmody came in, who was a familiar face, we knew what he was about. And then he brought Coach Daniels in, Keith Daniels, um, as a new offensive coordinator, quarterback coach and everything. And he kind of changed things up a little bit. And, um, and it affected us early on because we kind of took the true triple option. We changed it, all right, to where I wasn't really reading anything. So it didn't take teams long to figure out what we were doing early on. And we had a monster schedule early because we played, I don't know who we played first, but I think we had uh, Ole Miss, uh, Auburn, Florida State. Uh, I think after, after that, I had a conversation with Coach Daniels. I said, Coach, we need to go back to reading the option the way we did last year. I said, it won't be difficult because everybody's here. Everybody, everybody who was here last year is here now. And to Coach Daniels' credit, he said, okay, all right, we'll do that. And then that's when we went on that little run. Uh, I went in six or seven straight games and then going on to Alabama and then going into Alabama as well as we were playing. You know, it was just, it was kind of crazy, you know, coming into Tuscaloosa because, you know, we had the NCAA investigation going on and then we had we got put on probation. Uh, the little sanctions that they gave us kind of came down that week prior to Alabama. So we knew we weren't going to a bowl game uh, based on that because the team as itself made a decision. All right, I think it was going to be a two-year bowl ban. So we just said, you know what? As, as a group, we decided, all right, we won't go to a bowl game this year. So they'll just, so the school would just have one year where they can't go to a bowl. So in essence, you know, that was the last big game of the year for us, you know, against Alabama and everybody was focused and, and you know, we went in, like I said before, we, when we stepped on the field, we stepped on the field to win. I don't care who you were. And that's, that was our mindset. And, uh, and everybody on that team, from my backup all the way to the starters, had that same mindset. And, you know, coming into that game, we knew it was a big game because that was Coach Bryant's last year. And, of course, you playing Alabama. I don't care what's going on, you playing Alabama. So you want to bring your best. And we, fortunately for us, you know, we did. Um, uh, beat them and I, I me personally I didn't know anything about the streak I, I didn't I didn't know about it I was just kind of really focused on that particular game just when I found out a lot about a lot about it afterwards you know which was great and um, we finished on a sour note but you know that game in itself uh, beating state again you know those kind of things uh, it was, it was still pretty special.